Welcome to World's Best Videos. We've compiled the list of facts of Disneyland's biggest secrets. Let's get into it. Club 33. Club 33 is a private club located in the heart of the New Orleans Square section of Disneyland. Originally maintained as a secret feature of the theme park, Club 33 members and their guests have exclusive access to the resort experiences, which vary depending on the type of membership. In addition to the Club 33 restaurant, access may also include Le Salon Navu, a jazz lounge within New Orleans Square, and 1901 a lounge in Disney California Adventure, both of which are not open to the public. There's a $25,000 to $100,000 initiation fee, and there's a $12,500 to $30,000 annual fee, depending on the level of membership. It is also the only place in Disneyland that sells alcohol. Hidden Basketball Court About two-thirds of the way up of the Matterhorn, there's a small attic-like space used as a staging and a break area for climbers. Inside that cramped space is a basketball hoop, complete with backboard and net, which has been attached to a flight of wooden Stairs. The basketball hoop was placed there for mountain climbers and other cast members to pass time while waiting for scheduled climbing times or in bad weather prevented groups from scaling the Matterhorn. Seeker Apartment Walt Disney had a small private apartment constructed on the second floor of the Main Street Firehouse. The apartment had a bathroom with a shower and a small kitchen. Lillian Disney used a quiet patio often. She loved to drink afternoon tea or entertain her guests out on it. Lingerie and Tobacco When Disneyland opened in 1955, guests could stop at Hollywood Maxwell Brasil, Co. of Los Angeles. After six months, it was closed. In Disneyland on Main Street, a wooden Indian is a marker for the old tobacco shop. The shop sold cigarettes, pipes, and tobacco paraphernalia, along with Disneyland matchbooks. In 1991, the shop permanently closed, but the wooden Indian still remains where it used to be. Doritos In 1955, when Disneyland first opened, the founder of the Frito-Lay got permission from Walt Disney to open up a Mexican-themed restaurant in Frontierland. They called it Casa de Fritos, and Fritos were the main ingredient in most of their dishes. One day, a salesman from Alex Food was making a delivery to Casa de Fritos when he noticed all the sales tortillas in the garbage. He gave the cook at the casa some advice, fry the old tortillas and sell them as chips instead of tossing them in the garbage. So Casa de Fritos started frying up their old tortillas and seasoning them. It became a huge success, but they never reported their new menu item to Frito-Lay. A year after its dumpster conception, the VP of Frito, Archibald Clark West, made a surprise visit to Casa and discovered the new snack. West made a deal with Alex Foods to sell Doritos as a snack. Well, that concludes the video, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it, and if you did, remember to smack that like button. Also, let me know in the comment section below what you'd like to see next, and if you haven't already subscribed, please do subscribe to keep up with the world's best videos.